Hello, welcome to the video for what is interpolation, the V interp node. V interp stands for vector interpolation. Let me run my example here. You'll see our little cube randomly picking a position on our platform and interpolating smoothly to it. Remember vectors are in X, Y, and Z, three float fields. So I'm going ahead and I'm using the actor's location for our example. Now, the V interp node has a current, target, delta time, and interp for the inputs. Current is a location currently, which is a vector value, which is my actor's current location. Target is a random vector that I have chosen. Delta is our delta time, remember, between zero and one with the higher the number being farther along the interpolated line you're going to get, and interp speed being a multiplier on the delta. Now the other one is our V interp to constant, which is basically going to take the same information, except this is a constant output instead of an ease like the normal V interp has. But remember, it will need a higher interpolation speed. In our example, I have 200 here, and you'll notice it's going to dart back and forth without any form of interpolation. Kind of maybe like a little ping pong game actually, where it's ponging back and forth off the corners. So that is it. Those are our V interp nodes. They're useful when you have one location and you need to move to another location where it's not like on a flat XY plane like your user interface or maybe a top down 2D game. It's useful if you need to have basically locations. You could perhaps put a transform in here or a rotation, an individual element of it. But there are rotator and transform interpolations if you need to move more than one thing at a time. I would, on that note, not recommend putting a rotation into a V interp, as rotations are specific. They should be done in a specific order in terms of their interpolation along the pitch, yaw, and axis. So if you're going to do a rotator and you need an interpolation, please make sure you use the R interp node for that. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them below.